July has come to an end, so the Project Rover channel has another review of the new products of the Russian automotive industry that appeared this month. It should be noted that Russian companies producing cars under the most severe sanctions do not reduce, but, on the contrary, increase the output of cars and trucks. For this reason, some of them even have to invest in the creation of new production capacities. In July, the Russian automotive industry received strong support from the country's government which increased the so-called recycling fee, in fact, increased the duty on the import of foreign cars and trucks. This increase is not very large, but it will increase the competitiveness of Russian cars and trucks in the domestic market, increase demand for them, and therefore allow the implementation of important industrial projects aimed at developing automotive production. The Kamaz company, which has been subjected to the most severe Western sanctions, has introduced a new model of the Compass family to the Russian market. This is a light truck with a gross weight of 3.5 tons. Prior to this, Kamaz had already started selling Compass trucks with a gross weight of 9 and 12 tons. All of them are assembled from vehicle kits supplied to Kamaz by a Chinese partner. But gradually the components and assemblies of these trucks are mastered by Russian companies. In addition, Kamaz managed to return to the assembly line its flagship truck, the K5 model truck tractor, which previously used many imported components, including European companies supplied an automatic transmission and a rear drive axle. During the year, Kamaz did a great job of replacing Western components with either Russian or Chinese counterparts. Since the beginning of this year, Kamaz has already produced more than a thousand K5 truck tractors in which there is not a single Western part. Moreover, Kamaz has begun equipping a new workshop with production equipment, in which, starting from 2026, it will manufacture its own modern drive axles. Solars, which before the war produced four transit light trucks at its plant in the Russian city of Olabuga, continues the project to replace them with Atlant commercial vehicles of a similar class, which are assembled in Olabuga from Chinese components. But localization processes have been launched. In July, the plant where Solars previously produced engines for Ford cars manufactured in Russia mastered the production of two models of Chinese diesel engines. They will be equipped not only with Atlant light trucks, but also with several other models of cars produced in Russia. In July, the Gaz company began production of the Baldai 8 medium-duty truck with a gross weight of 7.5 tons. Instead of the Cummins diesel that was used on the previous model, this truck received a new diesel engine with increased torque, which it recently began to produce independently, having bought a license in China. In addition, Gaz has developed and is testing a new truck with a gross weight of 12 tons designed to serve distributors and retail chains. Gaz has never produced such trucks before. The largest car manufacturer in Russia, Avtovaz, has solved most of the problems with the shortage of components and this summer has increased their output many times over. Chief among these problems was the absence in Russia of national companies producing anti-lock brake systems. Until 2022, such systems were supplied by Bosch for all Russian cars. Now this company has left the Russian market, and ABS production in Russia had to be created from scratch. It took about a year and a half to complete the task. Now Russia has its own manufacturer of ABS, which is capable of producing 800,000 ABS sets per year. The Avtovaz company at its plant in the Russian city of Izovsk planned to resume production of the Lada Largus station wagon with increased capacity. The release of this car was stopped last year due to the termination of cooperation with the Renault-Nissan alliance. Now it has become clear that due to the large share of Western components, it will not be possible to restore the production of Lada Largus. Therefore, Avtovaz chose another car for production at a plant in the city of Izovsk. This will be a crossover Chinese brand Dongfang but it will be released under the Lada brand. First, in Izovsk, they plan to assemble this crossover from car kits supplied from China, and then gradually localize it, attracting Russian component suppliers. Serious plans to localize Russian production from the Chinese company Havel. This company a few years ago built a new car assembly plant near the Russian city of Tula. Now the production of cars at this plant has reached the maximum possible, so Havel decided to localize their production as much as possible in order to reduce costs. 
to this end, next to the assembly building, the construction of another building has begun, in which body parts, suspension, brake system and interior parts will be produced. The Ural Company, which specializes in the production of heavy trucks, including off-road trucks, increased their production so much under Western sanctions that it began to lack existing production capacities. Therefore, this company decided to start building a new assembly building. In this building, the company expects to produce 5,500 trucks annually. In 2022 and 2023, all major Western and Japanese manufacturers left the Russian agricultural machinery market, so their Russian competitors rushed to it. The most recent news. The SD Ural, known for producing the most modern track bulldozers and pie players in Russia, introduced its first agricultural track tractor weighing 16 tons, which is now being mastered in production. Later, several more models of agricultural tractors with a smaller mass will join it. 